Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best Garmin watch. Starting at number 5. Garmin Epix Pro. Until now, the Garmin Epix has been the company's high-end, high-spec adventure smartwatch. With a bright, AMOLED display, a large 1.3-inch screen, and an impressive battery life, it's been a popular choice since its release in January 2022. Now, Garmin has a new and improved version with the Epix Pro series, available in three different sizes, to suit every wrist size. The Epix Pro is available in three different sizes, 42mm per 1.6 inches, 47mm per 1.8 inches, and 51mm per 2 inches. It also has Garmin's latest heart rate sensor, with twice as many LEDs as that of the Epix 2, spread over a wider area for more accurate data. All of the watches in the Epix Pro lineup also have a built-in flashlight. Design The Epix Pro looks very similar to the Epix, with a beautiful AMOLED touchscreen that is wonderfully bright and easy to read, even in direct sunlight. Like all Garmin watches with touchscreens, the screen is automatically disabled in sports modes, meaning you can navigate around the watch with its five buttons, rather than accidentally pausing your run with sweaty fingers. Read more about the difference between the Epix and the Epix Pro here. Coming at number 4. Garmin Venue 2 Plus. Garmin watches aren't just for serious athletes. The Venue 2 Plus is a stylish smartwatch on a par with the Apple Watch and Fitbit Versa 3, and it's rugged enough for bike rides, strength workouts, and playtime with the kids. It's also a step up from the Garmin Vivo Active 4 with an AMOLED display and a stainless steel bezel. The Garmin Venue Plus 2 blends the fitness and health tracking features you'd expect from a Garmin device with smartwatch features such as mobile payments, notifications, a touchscreen, and storage for up to 650 songs. Unlike all of the other Garmin watches on this list, the Venue 2 Plus also has voice assistant features and on-wrist calls. If you want your smartwatch to act as an extension of your smartphone, this is the Garmin for you. At number 3. Garmin Forerunner 965. The Garmin Forerunner 965 is the upgraded version of the Forerunner 955. It's a top-tier running watch, and possibly the best Forerunner we've ever tested. If you're trying to decide between the newer model and the older version, Read our Forerunner 955 vs Forerunner 965 face-off here. The Garmin Forerunner 965 has all of the high-tech training features of the Forerunner 955, but one big upgrade, an AMOLED touchscreen. Compared to the likes of the Phoenix 7, this bright screen makes it easier to use full-color maps on the Forerunner 965. The watch is also equipped with multiband GPS, making it more accurate in areas with notoriously bad GPS reception. Design, the AMOLED screen has a resolution of 454 by 454 pixels, it's extremely bright and easy to see in all weather conditions. Like all of the Garmin watches with touch screens, the screen is automatically disabled during activities, allowing you to start, stop, pause, and lap the watch using the buttons. There's five buttons in total, three on the left, two on the right. They are easy to use and press with sweaty fingers, or when wearing gloves. Number 2 of my list. Garmin Forerunner 55. If you're starting to get into running, chances are you want a device that's a step up from a basic fitness tracker but also won't overwhelm you with too many features. Among Garmin watches, the Forerunner 55 is a clear choice. It's a simple, easy-to-use running watch that'll help you keep an eye on your running stats, heart rate, and sleep from your wrist. The watch doesn't have some of the high-end training features you'll see in other watches on this list. There's no training readiness score, for example, and the watch doesn't let you listen to music or pay for groceries from your wrist, but don't let this put you off. Design The Forerunner 55 looks like most of the other Forerunners in the Garmin collection, it doesn't have a touchscreen so you'll need to navigate around the watch using the buttons, 3 on the left, and 2 on the right. The watch only comes in one size, and has a 1-inch MIP display, with a resolution of 208 by 208 pixels. Even on the sunniest days, we could see the Forerunner 55's transflective MIP display without an issue. 
Battery life, a fully charged 4Runner 55 can last up to 2 weeks in smartwatch mode and 20 hours in GPS mode, which is a significant increase from its predecessor's battery life expectations. This is impressive when compared to the Apple Watch Series 8, which requires charging ever 8 18 hours, but the screen on the 4Runner 55 isn't anywhere near as bright as Apple's smartwatch. Either way, you could go away for a weekend marathon without worrying about packing your charger. And number 1. Garmin Forerunner 265. The Garmin Forerunner 265 is Garmin's latest mid-level running watch, replacing the Forerunner 255. Check out our Forerunner 255 versus Forerunner 265 face-off here if you're struggling to decide between the two watches. The main changes Garmin made to the watch was the screen, which is now a wonderfully bright AMOLED touchscreen. The Forerunner 265 comes in two different sizes, the Forerunner 265 has a 1.3-inch display, with a resolution of 416 by 416 pixels, and the Forerunner 265S has a 1.1-inch display, with a resolution of 360 by 360 pixels. During testing, we were blown away by how bright this little watch was, even in direct sunlight. This is an excellent watch for most runners, it's got a lot of the training tools of the more expensive watches on the market, yet it's far more affordable than the likes of the Phoenix, or the Forerunner 955-965. The bright touchscreen also makes it feel more like a smartwatch if you're planning on wearing your Garmin 24-7. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.